guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jill <laughs> y'all know that already but if you don't know how to spell it it's J-E-A-A Jill -A -A, yeah. so um anyway for those of you who do not know it's a wig yes I wear wigs so the hair that y'all be saying yeah that's a wig so um if you all are interested in how I achieved this wig and um, want to know a little bit more about how I put it on and what products I use for my hair, then keep watching because this is going to be a very informative, informative video. Yes, darling, it is. So, if y'all want to know, keep watching. <laughs> okay, so for starters, um, my hair. The this is my wig, actually. I'm going to show y'all my wig. This is my babe. Well, my first wig. I call her Jill. This is Jill. <laughs> but, um, this is my wig, and I've had this hair for almost over a year now. This is a, a lace frontal wig. I have, like, three other wigs that I made, uh, including the curly hair that y'all see sometimes, like, the curly blonde. That's a wig, too. It's a wig, boo. It's a wig. <laughs> no shame in my game. But, um, yes, this is my one of my favorite wigs, so it needs to be flat iron. But, yep, yeah, um, this hair I got from I got from a website called wildafrican.com. And on that website, um, I found I was really just looking for some affordable hair at the time because I'm a college student, so you know, I don't want to go all out but you know I do want to have some nice hair so this hair um this is called the this is the Malaysian straight this is Malay the actually it's virgin Malaysian straight and it's like bone straight when you first get it it comes what I bought it came with three bundles and a frontal I got the package deal or whatever you want to call it and um came with three bundles and a, a frontal and the frontal um I think I got like a 16 I got a 16 inch frontal a 18 and two twenties two twenty inch bundles 18 inch and two twenty inch bundles so yeah this hair this hair I, I really don't have any bad things to say about it because you see it's been a year and it's still like good like I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about what I do my do's and don'ts with my hair the hair that I use so yeah but right now I'm finna go into how I put on my wig so a lot of people ask me this all the time like I'm gonna I'm show you underneath my It has a strap on it, just like to be tightened. Like, if I ever need to tighten it up, this really makes it tight around my hair and all that. And then you can see where I stitched it up and, like, sewed it in and stuff like that. And um, this is the frontal. And then I just use a dome cap to um, sew it all on. And then I, I sew the frontal on first. And then I sew the bundles with it, so... And then just put out my face like that. And with the strap that I showed y'all, it's like really tight. So you're really not going to need any pins or anything. Then I just pull it down over. And then for this hair, I just push it back. For now, I push it back. You see my hair. You're not supposed to see that, by the way. But yeah, I push it back and... What I use to make it like whole, like stay all day, is this uh, got to be ultra glued invisible styling gel. This I got a small bottle first because I didn't know how it was gonna, I really didn't know how it was gonna work. And this is my first time, this was my first time using it. And I've been on this bottle, this little small bottle, for about a month now, and it does the job. Like a lot of people say it doesn't work for them, but 
all I can tell you is my experience because it really does work for me. Like, this is what I do, literally. I put a little bit on my finger. And I, like, dab it up there. Dab it to where I want my hair to come to. Well, the wig, whatever. But, yeah. And then, I pull it. I get it. And then I pull it up and around into like place and y'all really this is like my whole secret like <laughs> this is how my hair be looking so late like people be asking me all the time how it look like hair is coming out of your head your actual hair yeah this is how it is this is how I do it and then that's really it like this has how I put on my wigs every day every day every day all day and then like it's gonna take a few minutes for it to dry fully but when it dries like you good you good boo you're set boo and then like when it dries you can do this to it you know like just do your own thing do your own thing yeah yeah <laughs> But yeah, um, my do's and don'ts for this hair. I've had, like I said, I don't tell y'all, I didn't change my closure because you know over time your close, well your frontal is gonna thin out. But over time your frontal is gonna thin out. But I do change my uh frontals. Like I ordered another frontal from the same company and all that but not the bundles the bundles are good you see still good but um my do's and don'ts for this hair number one my don't not my number one do not do not put any type of oil in this hair in, in any hair I buy I never put oil in it like a lot of people that I know put oil in their hair and they say it keeps it some no weave is not no well this is my opinion but you you know you entitled to your own opinion and whatnot but weave is not human hair it's not attached to your head so when you have oil the oil is going to build up on your hair and it's going to weigh your hair down and it's going to get start getting matted and you know heavy and oily and then it's going to be ruined and then you're going to have to buy some more hair so to prevent myself from buying hair every month I don't put any oil in my hair and I wash my hair like every two weeks and this is all I use to wash my hair all I use to wash my hair is Tresemme I'm not saying that Tresemme is the best shampoo conditioner but this is honestly what works the best for me and my hair because I tried some um it was some kind of some other Lord I don't know. I don't think it was. I don't know what's the name of it. I tried some other shampoo. I tried two other shampoos and conditioners and it did not give me the life and the smell and the you know, it made my hair look like it just it's better. And I, honestly this is my honest opinion. Like I wash it in cold water. Not not warm, not hot, cold water. And um I do I go I really go through it one time I just get it I massage shampoo in really good like let it sit a little and then massage it in really really good and then rinse it out completely out and then I put shampoo and I put my hair in like a plastic bag for like probably five minutes and then I go back and rinse all the conditioner out all of this conditioner out and then once I do that um I comb through it like well actually with the conditioner in I comb through it to make it like straight and then so when I do rinse it out I won't be tangled or anything and then when I do um use the when I finish I go back in with like a, literally like a, a dab of conditioner and rub it all in and then I go through my wet hair and that's it and then all I do 
is put my wig back on my wig head and leave it alone till the next day. And the next day it's usually dry. And then that's when I'll flat iron it or curl it or whatever. And you know, there it is. But for my actual hair underneath it, I use, um, I get one of my friends to braid my hair, corn roll my hair, and it's going straight back. Like straight back. Corn rolls, you know, you know what corn rolls are. But yeah, it's going straight back. And um then like every time I wash and condition my hair, I use this. And this has made my hair grow true men tremendously. I missed it up. Tremendously. My hair has grown so much since I started using this. And I really just I think I put it in my hair like probably once a week. Once a week. And um I wash my hair like probably twice a month. My real hair. And uh I don't think anybody has ever told you like if y'all have heard this before, but dirty hair grows more. Like my mom used to tell me that when I was younger and it's kinda true, like when your hair is not being washed every day, like twice a week or something like that it, it really does help it grow so just a heads up and all of that but um yeah i'll be messing with this week too much i don't really like it well i love my hair straight sometimes but this hair is so pretty curly like and i think curls are more me curls are more me like because straight i look like <laughs> i look like don't don't mess with me don't don't F with me. Don't mess with me, boo. <laughs> so, and then with my curls, I just feel like I'm so sweet and innocent. Which I am, I guess, if you want to call it that. But, yeah. And, um, that's how I put on my wigs. Now, if y'all want to know how I make the wigs, like actually make my wigs, then leave a comment or a like and i promise you i'm i will like i'll make that video like leave comments likes or just snapchat me or dm me or something and tell me like you want to know how to make it and i'll make a video but i haven't been wanting to make the video because i don't know who i'm gonna be watching so um a few of you wanted to know more about this week so that's why i made this um video but yeah that's really all like it's nothing to it just take care of your hair like I cannot stay <laughs> one of my biggest pet peeves is when people buy hair and then don't take care of it like they buy expensive hair and do not take care of it I just be like why like why I just be like can I take that hair off your hands and treat it right <laughs> I, I treat my hair my weave like it's my actual hair just like I take care of my actual hair, I take care of my weave. So, um, yeah, and that's really all, like, that's really all. So, if y'all like this video and y'all think this was very informative and y'all want to know more and want to see more, please give me a thumbs up and leave comments in my description box below and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come watch this video and subscribe to my channel please and thank you bye bye subscribe to my channel please